In this video, I'll be looking at some quick tips for Native Instruments Contact Sampler. Do subscribe for more videos like this and ring the bell to keep up to date with our notifications and deals. Native Instruments Contact is an extremely capable sampler, but it also has a bewildering array of features. Let's look at a few things that you might know or might not, but they'll all make your life easier. First up, an essential setting if you're working on a Mac and on multiple projects simultaneously. Open the options cog, navigate to memory and engage memory server. You can then opt to purge samples manually, meaning that your contact instrument samples remain in RAM when switching from one project to another. Our next tip is to make sure that any antivirus software you're running is skipping your hard drive sample libraries folder. Otherwise, each time you load a contact instrument, every sample file will be scanned on its way into contact, and this can take forever. Many contact libraries have extra information available on their features and functions. Make sure you've clicked into the workspace management menu and check the info window. You'll then see text underneath the virtual keyboard explaining key switches and interface options when you mouse over them. A quick way to assign hardware MIDI controllers to a dial or fader, just right click with your mouse, then wiggle your controller for an instant link. Another way to link is to head to the automation page and drag from a CC number in the list to an interface control. You can also adjust the range of the control or remove it at the bottom. Tell us in the comments about your favourite contact tips. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to ring the bell to get notifications.